So the first question reads, where were you born and where do you live now? Okay, my, my hometown is Walnut Creek, California, but the birth, the actual birth, took place in Berkeley, California, because Walnut Creek did not have a hospital. Okay, and uh, where do you live now? I live in Las Vegas, Nevada now. Growing up, what was your most valuable possession? When I finally got my own room all to myself, I really loved having that. At what age did you get your own room? At about 10. Were you sharing with your siblings before that? Yes. When I was 10, 9 or 10, my eldest sister got married. Mm -hmm. So that freed up her room. And before that, I was sharing a room with my other sister, Lynn. Question three. Do you remember when and how you learned to ride a bike? I think my brother helped me learn to ride a bike, which was kind of hard because where we lived, it was very hilly, a lot of ups and ups and downs. Or could you tell me what a typical day like growing up was? So what I typical, I mean like a school day. So. I remember school starting at eight o'clock. So if I were walking to school, it would be, I would leave the house at, at uh, 7.30. Since it was Walnut Creek, my school was called Walnut Heights. Yeah, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth in that school. We stayed in one classroom. Uh, had recess out on the blacktop, and I usually played Foursquare and Tetherball, mm -hmm. and I beat a lot of kids. I was pretty good at both of those, <laughs> and then carried my books home, walked home, mm -hmm. and uh, had some homework, not a whole lot, and then dinner which I either helped make dinner or helped clean up afterwards. So the next question is, what are the values with which you were raised? The first one that comes to mind is to always tell the truth mm -hmm. and to be nice and kind to other people. So can you tell me the... Uh, first things you did after you graduated from college and what college you graduated from? I entered uh, Cal Poly, known now as the California State Polytechnic University to study journalism. Um, I went there four years and I didn't graduate. I have 15 more units to complete for graduation. Your yeah. mother was born about two weeks before uh, graduation that year, and uh, her father graduated uh, that year, and that was 1970. And so we moved from the college town of San Luis Obispo we moved to Modesto, where your father got a job, uh, I mean, your grandfather got a job in an architect's office, and I got a part-time job as the society editor of the Escalon Times. So the next question reads, uh, what did your parents believe in for spiritually, religion, or culture? My parents didn't express any spiritual or religious beliefs. Uh, they did, didn't go to church. We kids went to church when, when the Spirit moved us um, <laughs> at different times. Um, eventually, my mother spoke more about uh, Christian science. Mm -hmm. And she uh, was involved with that for a while, mostly doing reading at home, not going to church. 
Gotcha. And I don't remember anything from my dad. Question eight reads, what is the greatest change and or challenge that you have seen in your lifetime? Uh, I, there were two very significant times. Mm-hmm. One was when I was a sophomore in college. My parents divorced, and so I really didn't have a home to go to after that. And that was felt very strange. And uh, it made me realize even faster and more dramatically that I was a young adult pretty much on my own. The other very significant and life-changing moment was when your mother, my first child, Alicia, uh, got leukemia in 1990 when she was 20 years old. And that... um, changed life dramatically in the moment, also reset what what is valued and what to spend time on. So the next question is, who was the person you most adored or respected and or had the greatest impact on your life? I would say that my mother's cousin Um, Her name was Betty, and she lived in the apartment above our garage when I was a junior and senior in high school and the first couple of years of college, and um, she was so different from my mom and very, very funny. We uh, had a, a lot of good times laughing till your stomach hurt but she also helped guide me uh when my parents were divorcing and i I could talk to her as a mature adult in ways that i couldn't with my own parents and that that was huge so uh question 10 reads which ancestor would you most want to talk to again or for the first time? Um, my grandfather on my father's side, uh, he was hard of hearing when I came on the scene and was very difficult to talk to. I would have loved, I would love to go back now and talk to him about his career in journalism. He owned a couple of papers. He was editor of a couple of papers, uh, publisher of a couple of papers, and worked in San Francisco as a journalist during the time of the earthquake and and fire in uh, San Francisco. And I never sat down with him and... had him talk to me about his stories Um, and man I would love to go back and do that Uh, what are three things you would take with you to a deserted island Uh, certainly food and water Okay. and a really good book to read that never gets old or tiresome, that would be the Bible. The Bible? Because it has a lot of stories in it, plus a lot of teachings in it. And I think um, there's plenty of material in there to go over and over again um, and not be bored 